Hi, welcome back to Besame. Have you ever heard about a place called Lover's Leap in Jamaica? Do you know how it got its name? Well, if you don't, stick around. I am going to read you a story called Lover's Leap that will explain how it got its name. Lover's Leap. In St. Elizabeth, there is a place called Lover's Leap. It is near a place called Yardley Chase, near Southfield. It is a very high cliff, about 1,500 feet high. The slope is not so very steep. People say that long ago, the slope was much steeper. But over the years, the land at the top of the cliff has been washed away. When you stand at the edge of the cliff, you see the land going down in a long slope to the sea. The land is covered with rough bush and rocks. Far down and far away, you can see the sea. There are many stories about why the cliff is called Lover's Leap. This is one of them. Long ago, in the days when there were slaves, there was a sugar plantation called Chardley Hall Plantation. A beautiful slave girl lived on Chardley Hall Plantation. She was in love with a slave youth from a nearby plantation called Content. The youth used to come from Content to Chardley Hall to look for her. But the master of Chardley Hall wanted the beautiful girl for himself. When he heard about the slave youth from Content, he was very angry. He found the youth and told him, If I see you on my land again, I will kill you. So the youth did not come back to Shardley Hall, but he and the girl started to meet in secret. They met at the top of a high cliff near Shardley Hall. They thought that nobody knew about their secret meetings, but the girl's brother knew and he did not like it. He wanted Mr. Shardley to take his beautiful sister for himself. If his sister went to live in the master's house, life would be better for him. So he did not want her to love the slave youth. He went to his master and told him about the secret meetings. Mr. Shardley was very angry. He said, now I will kill him. That night, he went to the cliff. When the slave youth came, Shardley shot him dead. Then he waited for the girl. As she came up, Shardley kicked the youth's dead body over the cliff. At first, the girl could not believe that the man she loved was dead. She flew at Shardley and started to fight him like a wild animal. Shardley was a strong man, but she fought him to the edge of the cliff and pushed him over. Then she leaped over the cliff herself. She died at the bottom of the cliff beside the body of the youth she loved so much. The end. That was a sad tale. Anyway, although sad, I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. And whenever you have some time, take a visit to Lover's Leap. You might enjoy it, even though the story behind its name is so sad. Now, I've got to go to work. I'm already dressed, <laughs> as you can see. So, until next time. Bye-bye.